most elastic things like steel springs and so on is nothing but this electrical thing pulling back. You pull the atoms a little bit apart when you bend something, and then they try to come back together again. But rubber bands work on a different principle. There, there's some long molecules like chains and other little ones that are shaking all the time that are bombarding them, these chains. And the chains are all kind of kinky and knocked about and shaped. When you pull open the rubber band, the strings get straighter. But these strings are being bombarded on the side by these other atoms trying to shorten them by kinking them. So it pulls back. It's trying to pull back, and it's pulling back only because of the heat. So if you heat a rubber band, it'll pull strong, more strongly, for instance. If you hang a weight with a rubber band and put a little match to it, it's kind of fun to watch it rise the way it heats more. And there's another thing you can check that this idea is right, that is heat that drives a rubber band. If you pull the band out, just like when we push the piston in the gas, if you pull the band out, the tightening string hitting those molecules makes them move faster, and so it's warmer. And if you take the band and let it in, then the molecules hitting the strings, which sort of give as the thing hits, they, they give in to the soft like, and they lose energy when they hit these retiring band, uh, string, strings. So it cools. And there is a little way you can do this. You're not very sensitive. It's a small effect. And if you take a a fairly wide rubber band and put it between your lips and pull it out, you'll certainly notice it's hotter. And if you then hold it out there and let it in, you'll notice it's cooler. At least you'll notice a certain difference in whether, what happens when you expand it, when you contract it. And that's, I've always found rubber bands fascinating to think that when they're sitting on an old package of papers for a long time, holding those papers together, it's done by a perpetual pounding, pounding, pounding of the atoms against these chains to hold it, trying to kink them and trying to kink them year after year. Well, rubber bands don't last that long, but anyhow, for a long time, trying to hold this whole thing together. The world is a dynamic mess of jiggling things, if you look at it right. And if you magnify it, you can hardly see anything anymore because everything is jiggling and they're all in patterns and they're all lots of little balls. and. It's lucky that we have such a large scale view of everything that we can see them as things without having to worry about all these little atoms all the time.